Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. Got a couple of topics here I want to just kind of briefly mention to you today. Uh, AI uh, Expo there went on in China. Very unusual. Going to be looking at that. Also, uh, reports there about the U.S. considering armed troops on merchant ships in the Middle East there. Uh, Pentagon, the uh, Miley is headed to Israel because of the crisis that they're worried about with Israel's reform bill there and the military. What's going on there? Russia, no change in nuclear policy there. Kind of just briefly look at that as well as the National Hurricane Center there. Uh, Hillary, Hillary is definitely never quiet. She's not going away. It looks like she may end up making a splash here in the next, uh, oh, that's about three to five days there in Southern California. So kind of interesting how we always find out issues with Hillary. So we'll be looking at uh, those things as well. And also just a quick mention to you there, our Patreon channel. I just shared uh, some interesting testimonies I think you might be, uh, you might find uh, unique, uh, so to speak there. And uh, probably in a few days, though, we'll share it here on our YouTube channel as well, Israeli News Live, or either Danoon Institute, one or the other there. But uh, I thought you might find it interesting. Uh, so we loaded that. We're going to be doing an update on Patreon, too, on the Planet X. Uh, more interesting information, footages, and things like that that are going on. And I'll share with you what I know about that there also on our Patreon channel. Let's go, though. Let's get started right here now. This here is in uh, China. And uh, the, uh, let me see if I can get the volume adjusted here. But the, the expo there, and of course, this is what the public is allowed to see as far as robots, things like that. Uh, how that some of them can actually look very human. And, uh, and of course, you, you can only imagine that the technology is as advanced as what they show uh, in this video here about the advancement of uh, robots there. You can only imagine just how advanced they are in real life there. Of course, you're talking about robotic uh, vehicles that clean, collect garbage, things like that now. Uh, China is already using those types of vehicles there. Uh, but, uh, you know, th that one there, picking, uh, picking uh, what is it, apples, I guess, or tomatoes or something like that. Maybe maybe it's not even real. I don't even know. But uh, like at the beginning, they show the one robot making a latte. And here's you got robots that they're talking about putting in service uh, in restaurants, uh, hotel waiters, etc. Uh, and, and look at the reality, the realness of these robots and what they're doing already. Like I said, you're only seeing uh, what they're showing you there. This one here, for example, though, uh, this here is a dog robot, but the agility of this dog robot uh, was amazing. Uh, I mean, he can, he can do all kinds of things, roll over, play dead, uh, you name it, walk the dog, uh, and he's able to very quickly get back up on his feet there. So, you know, it's, so it's very interesting, like I said, just how advanced they are. And then, of course, this being technology that the public is allowed to see. What kind of technology do they have that you don't see that is classified? Uh, I know about the robots that are being used uh, in military applications, and they are extremely deadly, to say the least there. So I want to share that there with you. Uh, CNN, and this was in the Japanese report, uh, Translated it over to English, U.S. considers armed troops on merchant ships to defend Iran's seizures. And I know this is something that a lot of people are already aware of that has already been coming up as well. So the U.S. government is considering a plan to send armed U.S. soldiers aboard merchant ships to thwart Iran's frequent seizures of the ships in the Strait of Hormuz, a strategic gateway to the Persian Gulf. Um, this is on the 17th that this was uh, discovered there. U.S. government official familiar with the plan said it has also been pointed out that if the move is put into practice, there is a possibility of direct armed conflict between the United States and Iran. Well, if you're just going to put soldiers on there with some uh, uh, M16s, that is going to be a problem because that's a under-equipped U.S. military presence. And when Iran uses a, a, a heavier hand on those merchant ships, we're going to have a lot more soldiers going to be captured and become prisoners of war of Iran. So I, I think that it's a pretty crazy idea. If you're going to put uh, military soldiers on there, you better doggone well put some escorts to go along with them, uh, not just soldiers on the ships there. So, you know, we've already seen what's happened with Iran before when they 
ran into a group of soldiers on a boat and took them, took them all, took every one of them hostage. So it can become a big problem very quick without any doubt whatsoever. Uh, you also have Mark Miley, General Mark Miley is headed to Israel. And uh, this here being because of, uh, as we know, the Netanyahu's reform uh, plan there is causing a lot of backlash even in the military. So the Joint uh, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Mark Miley, will arrive in Israel next week. The reason for the visit is growing concern within the Biden administration about how Netanyahu's government judicial reform will impact the Israeli armed forces as reported by the Times of Israel. And uh, goes on to say that uh, the U.S. government is troubled uh, that the crisis in the Israeli military has affected sensitive areas such as the Air Force, Intelligence, Special Forces, and the Cyber Division. The Pentagon is worried that this could have significant adverse implications for the containment strategy and might prompt Iran or Hezbollah to engage in military provocations that could escalate the situation in the region. Uh, the crisis within the Israeli Air Force could have negative, as we read out here in the last paragraph, consequences for the U.S., that closely collaborate with Israel in the Middle East. It could also necessitate the U.S. to deploy additional troops to the region. Um, so, and then of course, you know, that may all be well and good. That may be a buildup and a plan to justify U.S. troop buildup in that region only to prepare for a war with Iran or even that of Syria. NATO seems no change in Russia's nuclear forces. And of course, uh, this here again, Stoltenberg is talking about in this article right here about uh, that they don't need to make any changes from what they can see because Russia is not making any changes as of right now other than sending the tactical nukes that they sent into Belarus. Uh, that was expected. We know the U.S. has been doing this for quite some time, a lot longer than Russia has ever thought about doing it. Uh, so we'll just have to wait to see how that plays out. There's always uh, hit and misses and things like that going on. Uh, in this war, and of course this here being Russia striking a train car that was filled with uh, munitions, and uh, I'm assuming this may be the tank munitions, don't really know for sure there. Also, uh, MK uh, a Russian helicopter has been allegedly shot down by Ukraine in the southern regions. I don't have that article up there, but I'm just aware of that particular incident there. And of course Hillary, Hillary never seems to go away, does she? Well, now she's in the uh, uh, Central Pacific, headed up along the uh, coast there. It'll be passing the Baja Peninsula, no doubt, before too long there, and is expected to make landfall somewhere around San Diego as a uh, hurricane. Uh, and I believe, let's see what it's actually, it's already a hurricane now at 75 mile per hour winds. And uh, I do not know what the... Let's see if they're going to say whether or not they're expecting it to strengthen. Said Hillary has the potential to bring significant impacts to the Baja California Peninsula, portions of the southwestern United States this weekend and earlier next week, including after it becomes post-tropical. So uh, looking at some of the maps in there, we'll just have to kind of see where they're thinking about this thing going in at. But uh, still they're looking at San Diego area, places like that, heavy rainfall, etc., uh, and yet also maybe weakening before it makes that landfall because of the right side of the storm being impacted the way it is. And it's always been very quiet in the, or in the Atlantic already. This should have been very, very quiet. Uh, there's not been any types of storms going on. And now we have um, two that uh, are possible to turn to hurricanes eventually, uh, especially this one right here. This one, uh, okay, let's see what we got here. It is saying that it has a 40% chance of cyclone formation within 48 hours. So those will be uh, two that we want to kind of watch to see what that, especially this one right here, because of the fact it is low enough down to where if it does turn into a hurricane, we may see uh, something going on with the main uh, part of the United States. At any rate there, wanted to share those things with you. Also, Patreon, I'll put a link to this video directly in the uh, description below for you. And remember, uh, those of you that uh, support uh, Patreon, that is a great way to support the work we do here. So uh, that's one of the reasons why we have Patreon, because of the fact uh, it, it helps to support the work we do, because this is a full-time dedicated uh, endeavor, and it's only a dollar a month. That's only that's all it costs is a dollar a month for you to be able to join over there with us. And I, and I do, I have had, a, a, I think two, two people, maybe three, 
that have had trouble with their card working on this account. Uh, please understand, any of those issues there, I don't have any control over. Uh, so if you are having, like if they're not accepting your payment, but you're wanting to be able to, to see the, the videos there, I wished I could do something about that. I cannot. Uh, there is some exclusive content on Patreon that does not come here. Uh, but like in this case here, because it is uh, more in a spiritual nature, uh, I will end up sharing that here on Israeli News Live or Danun Institute eventually here within the next week or so. Uh, so you'd still be able to see it regardless. Uh, but uh, but when once you also, once you begin that process, you have full access to everything. So there's people who have been there now for over a year, you know, and uh, they don't, you know, they've been uh, just dedicated and we thank God for you the entire time. And then there's those that have, that are just now joining. So either way, we really appreciate it. Uh, and it's not limited to a dollar. If God lays on your heart, you want to give more, you can. Uh, we certainly appreciate that, especially in light as we have shared with you the situation with my father-in-law um, and the very difficult situation that that has placed on our family. Uh, and I do want to thank there are those that have stepped up to try to help with the cost expenses on that uh, because they just continue to grow. And uh, but we're but by God's grace, we're, we believe that we'll get this story out. And that's another thing too, the video. And let me just uh, maybe that'd be a good thing to do is to just bring that back to your attention. Uh, the video over on let's see, this is not I connect. The video is still parked on uh, on iConnect.com and so I want to quickly just uh, get over there for you and share that with you again. It is lengthy and I am going to try to make a shortened version of this video here to share with you but um, uh, uh, definitely and by the way it's in all the different languages right that we have now Spanish, Hebrew, Russian, French and German. So uh, share that video. Uh, if you happen to do independent media or anything like that and you'd like to do a story on it, we welcome it. You're welcome to share the video uh, on your platforms as well. And uh, because the thing is, is to bring about uh, justice for this situation. Those that do not know, and I'll just say it again and everything, you know, the, the important aspect of this is, is that it was documented by uh, the doctor in question there two and a half months before of what would be deemed as still a, an excessive protocol. But um, when uh, she came to our home, four times greater. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into the issues about motives and things like that or why that was done, but that's not negligence. And, uh, and, and as you'll find out in the video, there are two different times where that protocol was reinforced each time of what was being used. Uh, and so that's just a bit strange. Anyway, but uh, like I said, please share it. And if you know anyone that you can share it with that could help bring some light to this because we're trying to get, um, well, I'll kind of leave that blank for right now. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, we trust that you'll have a blessed